Good morning, everyone. A good nerve Shabbos. We will share with you today a bitachin message from Parshas Devarim. We know that in the whole Sefer Devarim, it is very much a repetition of all that transpired in the Chumash itself. Moshe Rabbeinu tells Klal Yisrael again and again that which transpired, what had happened to them, how Kodesh Baruch Hu looks at it, and he gives in each one of the episodes that he describes, he gives new insight and understanding that we, the reader, Klal Yisrael, of all who will be here for all generations, will begin to be able to understand what the downfall was to Klal Yisrael in certain areas of history in the Midbar when they made grave errors. And it's no coincidence that we read Sefer Devarim right before Tisha B'av. This year, as we know, Tisha B'av really is on Shabbos itself, but we push it off until Sunday. But in the Parsha, he speaks about the Chet HaMaraglim, the sin of the spies, which was the precursor for all of the destruction that would ever befall the Jewish people on Tisha B'av itself. And he says that how did it begin? As he writes over here, that by Tikravun Eli Kulchem, all of you came and gathered around me. The time ruin you said, Nishtucha Noshim Lefaneno, let's send out spies in front of us. The Yachru Lanes Hart, let them spy out the land. The Yashivo Isan Udavar, as Hader Hashan Alebov, is the Horim Hashan Nova Alein, and they'll tell us what it's like in Eretz Yisrael, how we should go, and if we'll be able to conquer it. So Rashi points out over here, what does it mean? You came, you came in confusion. You came in mass confusion. You came all together as one pushing and shoving. The young people going in front of the elders, the ignoramuses in front of the wise. You came and you pushed your way in in order that we should, in order that you should be able to tell us that you want the spies to go out. Says Rashi, you know what the beginning of the hate, the beginning of the sin of the Maraglim of the spies was? That they didn't come with Yishev Adas, they didn't come with a settled mind. They didn't come after having discussed it amongst themselves, should we send in spies, should we not send in spies? They didn't come be'emunah and bitachin in the Rebbeinah Sha'ilam, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants us to go there to Israel. As Moshe Benu told them there, it's Toivahi, it's a good land, you have nothing to worry about. HaKadosh Baruch Hu has promised it to, to us and our children and our children's children. No. Vatikravu and Eli, you came be'irbuvya, you came pushing and shoving, nervous, anxious, confounded and confused. When a person approaches life, be'irbuvya in such a way, it is almost a guarantee that is a recipe for disaster. When a person is anxious and on edge, when a person is unsure and they are concerned, when a person comes along with much angst and confusion on the inside of them, so you know what ends up happening? It's almost impossible, or it is impossible, to make a decision that is going to be valid and solid and is going to be based upon the foundations of the haskil of the understanding and the outlook and the perspective, the proper perspective that a person has on life. Therefore, says Vaisha Rabbeinu, the reason that the Jewish people, these were tzaddikim, they were the righteous of the entire generation, could have made such a mistake, was because the initial approach was all wrong. It was not an approach that was based upon the kaivid raish, which would mean the seriousness and the understanding. It wasn't an approach that was done in the, in the most objective of ways. It was brought upon the Jewish people, be'erbuvyo, in a con- totally confusing and confounding way. And therefore, when you take amuna and bitachan out of the equation, when you release yourself, of your belief and your trust in the Rebbeinu Shailam, when you find yourself doing things happenstance and impulsively because the emotions are getting the best of you, so then you are setting yourself up for colossal failure in this particular circumstance. It was the failure of the Maraglim, which as HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, 
Bechisam bechiyashachinam. You cried on that night for no reason. I swear to you, says HaKadosh Baruch I will give you something to cry about. Ledore Doris for all generations. And this is Tisha B'Av. Tisha B'Av comes from a lack of amuna and a lack of bitachin. Tisha B'Av was predicated on the ibuvia, on the confusion and the mistakes of the Meraglim, of the Jewish people, that they came pushing and shoving, and even the Yeladim, the young people, got in front of the elders. We, there was no Derech Eretz, there was no honor, there was no respect, there was no recognition of the way in which things are supposed to go in a natural order. Erbuvia means out of order. Erbuvia means there is no rhyme and there is no reason. I'm just locked up in my emotional world and my emotions and my impulsivity is getting the best of me. My anxiety is running high. I have nerves. I have butterflies that are swarming around inside of my stomach. What am I going to do? Says the Torah, they made a very big mistake. You can't act in such a way. Rather, a Jew has to act, the menuchas hanefesh, peace of mind. And where does that peace and tranquility come from? A Jew that lives be'emuna, and a Jew that lives with bitachin, he has faith and trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Hashem runs the world. We can trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We can rely upon Hashem. We have nothing to worry about. Had we had more of those levels of Amun and Bitochen at that time, we would not have made such a grave error of the, of the Meraglim. We would not have sinned by speaking Lashon Har about Eretz Yisrael, and HaKadosh Baruch would not have punished us for thousands of years already that the night of Tisha B'av is a night of Chorban, a night of destruction for all of Klal Yisrael. May we be Zeicha on this Tisha B'av to strengthen our Amuna, to strengthen our Bitochen, to let HaKadosh Baruch know how much we believe in Him and we believe in the cause of Torah, and we believe in the sanctity of Klal Yisrael, and we believe in the Binyan Bayesh Shlishi that HaKadosh Baruch can bring the building of the Beis HaMikdash at any moment. And in that Zuchos, in Yetz Hashem, as our moon and our Bitochen is strong, and it soars, and we elevate ourselves in those areas, it will be a tikkun of the chayt, of the sin of the maraglim, and in that Zuchos HaKadosh Baruch will bring the Bias Goyal Tzedek, Mashiach Sidkenu, the Binyan by Ishlishi, Imheira Biyameinu. Have an easy and a meaningful fast and a wonderful Shabbos.